Hello everyone. I want to welcome you again to this this channel, Math Fusions. This is a channel where we solve our mathematical problems and mathematical related problems. And please, if you know you're having any issues in mathematics or you know somebody that is having issues in mathematics, please refer them to this channel. Now, my name is Justice Johnson. For our lesson today, um, we are going to be looking at reducing fractions to lowest terms, reducing fractions to lowest terms. And in this lesson, we are going to be seeing how to reduce fractions to lowest terms. Okay? And the method we shall be using to reduce fraction to lowest terms is the HCF method. So, what, what, how do we use this HCF method to reduce fractions? I will want you to stick around with me in this lesson and I'm going to be using this ACF methods to reduce fractions and at the end of this lesson you will definitely learn how to do same now how do we reduce fractions or why do we need to reduce fractions we need to reduce fractions so as to bring them to their lowest terms the lowest terms means the fractions where the numerator and the denominator um, we have prime numbers, that is, you have numbers that can no longer be um, divided any further. So let us get into the lesson proper. In this example here, we say we are told, reduce the following fractions to their lowest terms. Now let's take this first example, let's take the solution. In this first example here, we have 7 upon 35. We are going to rewrite this again as 7 upon 35. Then we are going to find a number that we are going to use to divide both the top number and the um, bottom number. And that number we are going to be looking for is the highest common factor or the greatest common factor between 7 and 35. How do we do that? Let's come to this side. Here we are going to write our 7. Is a 7. We we'll divide this by the prime numbers. The first prime number we're going to use here is 7 because no other number can divide into 7 except 7. When 7 goes into 7, it gives us 1. So we're having 7 and 1. Now the next number there is 35. We we'll write it out here 35 and we we'll divide. 2 cannot go into 35, 3 cannot go, 4 cannot go, but 5 can go. 5 into 35 is 7 because if you multiply 5 and 7, it gives us 35. Now what can divide again? 7 can divide and that will give us 1. So for these two numbers, for the 7 we have 1 times 7 and then for the 35 we have 5 times 7. You can see now that for 7 and 35 the common factor is what? 7. So the highest common factor here is 7. So we take this 7 over here and use it to divide both the top and the bottom number. Now, 7 into 7, how do you get that? Come to this place, you can see that in the multiples here, if we circle 7, you will see we are left with what? We are left with 1. So if 7 divided into 7, that will give us what? 1. Then, if 35 is divided by 7, come to your multiple table, your what you did here, if you circle the 7, you will see that you are left with what? 5. Which means if you divide 35 by 7, it's going to give us Five. So there you have it. You can see that we have arrived at the simplest form, which is 1 upon 5. There is no other number that can divide 1 and 5. I believe that is quite easy for you to understand. Now let us go again and take the second example here. In the second example, we shall be having 14 divided by what? 21. We are asked to reduce 14 divided by 21 into its what? Its simplest form. Now, like we did in the first example, we take our 14 here, put our 21 here, and we are going to look for the highest common factor between 14 and 21, so that we can use it to divide both numbers to arrive at our simplest form. So, how do we do this? Let us do it here. Quickly, we take our 14, which is the numerator, we start off with that, and we divide with it with 2. 2 times 7 will give us 14, so if we divide 14 by 2, it gives us 7. Then here we we'll know that 7 can go into 7 to give us 1. Now the next number we are going to have there is 21. So we'll write it out here, 21. 
and then we divide by 3 because 3 can divide into 21 to give us 7 and then 7 into 7 will give us 1. So for the HCF now of 14, writing 14 as product of its prime, we have 2 times 7 and then if we take our 21 and do the same, we have 3 times 7. So what is now the HCF of these numbers? The HCF is the number that appears in both numbers here, the prime multiplication. So we have 7 as the HCF. So we come here, we take our 7, put it there, and also put it in here. So finally, if we divide 14 by 7, based on what we have here, if you circle the 7, you will see we left it towards 2. So 2 comes up here. Now come to the 21 divided by 7, come to this place, circle the 7, you see we have what? 3. Then you put the 3 here. So that is the value for the, for this, for the answer to this question. I believe you are following me through. Now let us quickly take the third example. I believe this concept of HCF, uh, using HCF to reduce fraction is quite easy. And I'll show you by the time we are done with this, I, I know that you are going to be a pro in reducing fractions to the lowest terms. So let us take our 24 divided by 32 to 24. We are having 24 divided by 32. Okay, now how do we do this now? Um, to get our 24 divided by 32 like we have before, we get our 24, then divide it by what? 32. Okay, put our division sign, and we quickly come over to this place to do, to, get, uh, to divide this with prime numbers. So for, for the 24, we quickly divide this by 2. Okay, 2 we go in 24 to give us 12. So we divide this to give us what? 6. So we go here to give us 3. And then 3 can come in here to give us 1. Now we take our 32 and do the same thing here. And divide. So our 2 can go to give us 16. 2 can go to give us 8. 2 can go to give us 4. 2 can go to give us 2. And 2 can go to give us 1. So which means for the HCF of 24, we are going to have our uh, between 24 and 32. We are going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Then for the 32, we are going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 in 5 places. So the HCF will become we are having 2 here. We write it out 2 times. We can group this 2 to give us 2. We can group the next 2. Finally, it was, it was two. So there's no other factor um, numbers that are, what, that are common to both numbers. So we multiply this out 2 times 2 times 2, and that will be force 8. So what do we do to this 8? We transfer it here, and it comes in here, it comes in here. So if we do this division now by dividing 24 by 8, you don't need to crack your brain, the answer is already here. Okay, you just come to where you have your 24. And you multiply out 8. 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 8. So if you circle this, we left it for 3. That means if you divide 24 by 8, it will give us what? 3. Do the same thing for 32. We come here, we get out 8. 2 times 2 times 2, which is what? 8. Then we are left it for 2 times 2, which is 4. I will write down that 4 here. So if you reduce 24 divided by 32, reduce this to become 3 upon 4 in the what? In the lowest terms. Now let's quickly take another example, which is our example. Let's do that on a fresh paper. We are going to take um, example 4. And in our example 4, we are, we are asked to reduce 90 uh, divided by what? 1, 2, 6. So how do we do this? Now these are you know, kind of big numbers, okay? Very large numbers. Now, these HCF methods can help us to simplify large numbers like this when you encounter them. So, we we'll simply take our 90 divided by what? 1, 2, 6. And like we did before, we're going to look for the HCF. Now, in the HCF over here, we're going to write our 90 and divide by 2 because 2 can divide this to give us 35. But 2 can't go into this but 3, which is the next prime numbers that give us what 15. And 3 can still go to give us 5. And then finally, before 5 can go to give us what 1. 
then for our 126 we come in here we write our 126 in we divide 2 can go in 12 that is 6 in 6 that will give us 3 2 can't go anymore but 3 can go 3 here will give us 2 here is 1 3 can still go to give us 7 then comes in 7 to give us 1 so for the ACF we have 90 90 will become 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 we have to 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 then we have a 1 2 6 and then we have 2 times 3 times 3 times 7 and then for the HCF we circle this 2 which is common for both numbers circle this next 3 which is common for both numbers circle the next one which is common for both numbers so there is no other common factor between the two numbers so we multiply out this value 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 3 is what? 18 so what do we do with this 18? we bring it up here and we use it to divide both numbers in doing this, we will have here if we say 18 divided by uh, 90 divided by 18. All we simply do is to come to this place here and multiply out our 18. We know that 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 will give us what 18. So if we circle the 18 out, we'll be left with 5. Meaning, if we divide 90 by 18, we are going to have the result 5. Now we come down to this place here and do the same thing. We are going to multiply out 18, which is 2 times 3 times 3. Then you'll be left with what? 7. So this ACF method will really help us to simplify larger fractions like this. Okay, now let us take the fifth example in this lesson. In the fifth example here, we are having 1, 2, 8. We are having 1, 2, 8. Then divided, divided by what? By 1, 7, 6. So we have 128 divided by what? By 176. Now what we have to do now is to write out our 128. Now we know we are going to divide it again with a number, which is the ACF between 128 and 176. So here we come here to write our 176 and we'll put our division sign. So like as we did before, we are going to divide Let's take it here, our 1, 2, 8. We're going to divide that by 2 and see what the result will be. So 2 into 1, 2, 8 will give us what? 64. 2 we go in here to give us 32. Then 2 we come in again to give us 16. 2 we come in to give us 8. 2 we come in to give us 4. 2 we come in to give us 2. And of course, 2 we come in to give us 1. So you can see that 2 is multiplying itself into how many places? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places. Take note of that, okay? Now let us come here and take our 176 and do the same thing here. 2 into 17 will give us 8, which is 16. Remember, 1 is 16. We have 8. Then 2 can come in here to give us 44. 2 can come in again to give us 22. 2 can come in to give us 11. Then 11 can finally come in here to give us 1. So for our 128, we are going to write out the product of this prime as 2, 2 times 2, that is 4 places, times 2, that is 5, times 2, that is 6, then times 2, that is 7, because if we multiply out the 2 here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now we have the other one here, which is what? 1, 6, 1, 7, 6. And in this 176, we are going to multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 11. So we have 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 11. Therefore, the HCF method here entails that we are going to take out our 2, which is 2 times, this comes in here again, 2 times 2 is also common in here. It was 2 and it is also common in here. Uh, that is times 2. Alright, so 2 is common. 1, 2, 3, 4 places. And that will give us 16. Because 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Now we move this 16 up here. And we we'll put it here to divide it with uh, to use it to divide both numbers. Now when we divide 1 to 8 by 16, what is the result? As I did say before, you don't need to panic. Just come in here and multiply your 16. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will give us 16. 
So if we circle out the 16, we left it what 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So we come in here, we'll write our 8, and then we'll do the same thing for the lower number, which is the denominator. We'll multiply out our 16, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That will give us 16, we we'll left it what 11. So there you have it. That is how you use your HCF method to simplify or to reduce fractions to their lowest terms. I hope you really enjoyed this lesson and please let me know what you think about this method. Uh, do you think this method is very effective? Do you think this method is very effective? Or do you think you have another method that you would like to share with me? Please leave it in the comment box. And if you are just here today, you just join us in this channel, please subscribe if you have not done so. Help me to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, and help me to build this channel. I would like to see you in my next lesson. Remain blessed.